And again, here is a larger post set. And I want you to just kind of work your way down the list of statements on the left and make sure that you agree and understand that each of those statements is accurate. B is less than I, and S is less than Y. So I don't want to rush you away from this slide. Just, just work your way through this and make sure that you agree with all the statements in this list. If I can call your attention to the second to the last statement, C is a maximal element. But look in the picture. In some sense, C is right in the middle. But the, are, you, are you OK with that statement? Is it clear to you that C is a maximal element? Because there's nobody bigger than C. And also, U is a minimal element. And U is sort of stuck over there to the left, but not really at the bottom. But there's nobody less than U. So U is a minimal element. OK, so are we getting more comfortable with the statements about what it means to be less than, bigger than, comparable, incomparable, covers? And non covers. Yes. Covers. Pardon? Covers. Okay. So a cover graph and an order diagram is, in some sense, a shorthand notation. You're using gravity to give you implications that you don't want to draw the edges. Remember my stock phrase mathematicians should be selectively lazy. So think about the diagram of a total order. If you have a total order, like the integers 1 through 5, the natural order, 1 less than 2, less than 3, less than 4, less than 5. So a diagram for that order would be a very simple figure. You would have point 0.1 going up to point 0.2, going up to point 0.3, going up to 4, and then going up to 5. So the cover graph would be just a path on five vertices. Now, one is less than three, and one is less than four, and one is less than five. Why don't you draw those implications? Because we want to be selectively lazy and say that they are implied by the covering relations. So the relation one less than two is a cover because one is under two, but there's no element between them. So covering captures the notion that there's nobody in between you. OK, question. OK, comparable is a notion for two distinct points. And you say that two distinct points are comparable when one of them is bigger than the other. End of story. They are incomparable when neither is bigger than the other. J and P. Let me find J and P. Where's I see P. J is up there. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you say that J and P are comparable, then one of them has to be bigger than the other one. Which one do you want to make bigger than the other? Then you have to be able to get from J to P by coming down, straight down. Edges, you can't do that. You can't do that. So J and P are incomparable. Is, is that one? That's a, that's a good example because it looks like J is bigger than P, but it isn't. It isn't. 
Question. I'm say that again. Would you say that C is greater than B? C is greater than B. I have to. I found C. No, C and B are incomparable. Neither is bigger than the other. The question was, what's the relationship between C and B? And they are incomparable. Because remember, what does comparability mean? When you say that this point is bigger than this point, this means you have to be able to find a path coming straight down in the diagram. Down. You, you, not, not like this. And you can get from C to B, but you have to do this. It's not uniformly down. So neither is bigger than the other. That makes them incomparable. Clear? Yes, clear? Yes? Okay, if it wasn't maximal, there would be a line going up from it to somebody else. And there, and there isn't one. D is maximal. Do you see it? D. Yeah. Z. Y. Okay, but so is P. P is maximal. See it? And O, this point right here, is minimal. 